Okay. Yes, yes the broadcast is live. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome again to um, Ministries of Hope Christian Church Wednesday night Bible study. My name is Reverend Haverly Hutchings, and in the middle, you have our lovely pastor, our lovely senior pastor, Reverend Flory Williams. Um, beautiful smile, and right beside her, you have um, Reverend uh, Thompson. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to our uh, Wednesday night Bible study. We are located at 385 Garrisonville Road, right here in Stafford, Virginia. Again, as soon as this pandemic is over, come on down and visit us. We would love to have you. We're going. We are still in Genesis, and we are going to go to God in prayer and jump right in, and um, you know, get some meat out of the Word. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for today. Thank you for waking us up one more time so that we can come together and give you praise. Open our hearts, open our minds. Give us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to read your word, to, to spread your word, and to pick it apart. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, over to um, Reverend amen. Thompson. We're going to go ahead and get started where we left off at Sunday school. Um, we started getting into Joseph um, as far as him and his brothers and that dynamic. So we left off at chapter 37 and we're up to verse five and it starts off with the sheaf. So we're going into the middle of his dream. Um, I'll read verses one through four and then continue on through five through eight. So you kind of get a gist. Um, and Jacob dwelt in a land wherein his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was, was feeding the flock with his brethren, and the lad was with the sons of Bilah and with the sons of Zilpha, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him and could not speak peaceably unto him. Now we're continuing on uh, verse five of chapter 37 of Genesis. Okay, I just and Joseph to dreamed you one second. I just want to bring your um, something in focus here. How old, how old did they say that he was at that time? Just read 17. Okay, keep that in mind. I, you'll have to excuse me for a minute. I got emergency here. My husband will call. Okay. All right. So we're going to uh, go on. So keep it in mind that he's 17. His father loves him more. And um, the, his colorful coat, coat that his father made him. Mm -hmm. And then um, that his brothers hated him because of that. And so we'll go into verse five. Also, the big thing too, his mother is Rachel, the one who, who um, Israel loved. Uh, right. Verse five, and Joseph dreamed a dream and he told it his brethren and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, here, I pray you this dream, which I have dreamed for behold, we were binding sheaves in the field and lo, my sheep arose and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves stood round about and made obsessions to my sheep, meaning bowed to my sheep. And his brethren said to him, shall thou indeed reign over us or shall thou indeed have dominion over yes. us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams and for his words. Amen. Anything you want to add right there in those verses? Because he's showing so much love to jo to Joseph, that's why his brothers are have so much um, animosity to them, to to him, you know. And and I mean the the showing of of that, as you said, Joseph is the the um, the heir of the one who he loved, and she had died. So now she's showing he's showing every love that he has to um, Joseph and the brothers, of course, see that and mm -hmm. is taking, you know, uh, taking, taking out on Joseph. 
Yeah. 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 Like you said, and then and then on top of that, you know, they're out in the field, they're working. He's mm -hmm. at home he's learning, you know, being taught. He's given him he they made him coats of color, you know, made him coats mm -hmm. of color. They didn't do that for the brothers. He's really showing favoritism a lot. And I'll it's something that we can talk. Yeah, with Esau and Jacob, um, also with Cain and Abel, like we saw like that that favoritism come into play with them. And then it says he's saying like his dreams and his dream is not helping because now here comes this dreamer. Yes. His dreams are helping them because now you're seeing the dream come and he's saying, well, well, yours bow to mine. You know, so mm -hmm. what you think That's further facilitating the hate? So you think you better than us? You know, even though he was just reporting the dream that God had gave him. So it's like now um, my father, uh, my father don't only love you more than every, every one of us. Now you think that you're yeah. higher and better than us. You're going to yeah. dream that we bow down to you. You know, yeah. so it's it's building. It's those are the seed that Satan sows, and when he yeah. sows those seeds, it, it makes everything around that that circumstance look like it's it's going into that circumstances. Yeah. It's giving so validation, it's like it's to making it people. bigger and bigger. It's like what they say: when you give Satan a small foothold, it festers. Mm -hmm. And it gets mm -hmm. bigger and bigger. So now everything that happens, um, even uh, dream, if, if the father wasn't showing so much love to Joseph, probably they wouldn't take the interpretation of his dream like that. But yeah. because of all the hatred that was already there, now mm -hmm. this is building on top of what the, the hatred that is already there. Yeah. And I love it, too, because God knew this was going to happen. And it's part of his plan, you know, turning around for his good, because yeah. he had to, what we will see. This stuff had to happen in order for him to be placed where he needed to be placed. So yeah. even even the the crazy stuff that's going on, it's all meant for the betterment of you. God still yeah. has it to grow and prosper you. Um, What we have. OK, so we're at verse nine. And we're getting to the sun, moon, and stars. So then it says in verse nine of chapter 37 of Genesis, if you're just joining us, and he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren and said, behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun, the moon, and, and the 11 stars made obstinate to me, being bowed. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, what is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the same. So you see, his father, his father, as you say, his father observed the saying. His father had love for him, so he took yeah. it, the dream, in another context. You know, he yeah. didn't um, see it, even though he asked the question, it's, it was just like a, a, a observant question. Do you mean that we're going to bow down to you? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. And then he observed to see what is going to happen. But now the, the, the brothers that already hated him, you know, as we read uh, along, you're going to see how far and how deep that hatred went. Yeah. Yeah. And then two, two with um, his brother and envy in him. And then the father, I love it because it reminds me of um, Mary and Joseph. And when the angel came to her and told her she'd be pregnant and he was going to be what Jesus was going to be, what she was carrying. It said that she um, pondered these things when the shepherds came, when the um, wise men came and said she pondered these things in her heart. So it's like he's observed the sayings like um, the Bible says Salah. That means to think on these things. So he thought on that in his heart um, in verse 11, talking about, um, but his father observed the same. So, so uh, what his dreams means, were. It also means pause, Salah. It also means pause. Yeah. Yeah. And another thing, I was out, but what another thing I heard, we can't compare this really to Cain and Abel because it wasn't between Adam and Eve. Uh, Cain's jealousy was between his brother and God. And God. So there's a difference. Yeah. There. Okay. Yeah. Right. And also, <clears throat> also with the father Joseph, as I think uh, Reverend Hutchins said, it was because he loved the mother's son 
But yes. sometimes you listen to what your children have to say. Mm -hmm. And um, he could tell probably that those boys, the other boys, was jealous mm -hmm. of Joseph's in the very beginning. And I would go as far as to say they were je are jealous. This is just me, that they were jealous of Benjamin as well, because this was Rachel's two children. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what is that one verse in there that I noticed? So go ahead. It'll come back to me. Okay. And we're getting into Joseph's search for his brothers. So verse 12 of 37. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. And Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, Here am I. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren and well with thy flocks and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the vale of Hebron and he came to Shechem. Okay, let's stop right there for the simple reason, right there, let's stop. For the simple reason, we could imagine that Joseph, now he was home with his father. He wanted to be there with his brothers. Right. Sometimes you are hated, but you're trying to still be in the in crowd. With right. your siblings. Sometimes there are a lot of siblings in a family today. You know when you're not really welcome, yes. when you're not wanted in there, but yes. you're going to go anyway in hopes that you will be accepted in. Be peace. Yeah. <laughs> so I would imagine his father gave him the food and everything, tell him to go see about your brother, see where they are. I would imagine he jumped at the chance. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that he was being braggocious or anything like that. He was 17 years old. And perhaps mm -hmm. he was just, God gave him these dreams. This wasn't something that he himself, and when uh, we have to be very, very careful when we dream dreams, there are people today that will have a dream. They're going to go to, I'll just say a voodoo worker. Yes. Somebody like that. that mm -hmm. I had this dream. They want them mm -hmm. to interpret that dream. But mm -hmm. a, a dream can only be interpreted by God. Amen. Okay. Amen. So we have to be very careful with the dreams we dream. It's not all say, it doesn't necessarily mean they come from above. Mm-hmm. OK, so I would say that Joseph was he was a young man. Mm -hmm. And back then, I don't think they have the wisdom as a young man today. Mm -hmm. Maybe they had more. I don't know. But I don't think they had that wisdom. But I think he was anxious to get out there because he even questioned somebody. Where are they? He was eager to get mm -hmm. to them, not knowing. But it's all you mentioned before, like in uh, Romans 8, 23. 28, all things work together for the good of those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. So as you said, God mm -hmm. knew all of this was going to happen. It was in the plan, just like our lives. Don't get it twisted. Your life was planned out before put you here. Mm -hmm. But as we say in the model prayer, not my will, but thy will be done. Mm -hmm. We often mm -hmm. make things go another way because we want our will to be done. Our will to be done, yes. Uh -huh. But when we take it out of God's hand, that's when we get into trouble. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two, I want to add here that where he was going from the Hebron, from their hometown to Shechem was 50 miles. So he had to travel travel a while to get to, to that spot. Yes. And then where they're going to tell him they're not there, they went to Dothan. That was another 15 miles. Mm -hmm. So he had to travel a little bit. Um, but I would imagine he did it with joy because yeah. he's going to see yeah. his brothers, yeah. not knowing yeah. who was lying in wait for him. Mm -hmm. A lot mm -hmm. of times when we go home to visit, there can be cousins or mm -hmm. siblings there. Mm -hmm. She's coming for What does yeah. she know? Oh, yeah. she thinks mm -hmm. she's better than anybody else. Look at her. Mm -hmm. She mm -hmm. thinks she's better than we are. Don't fool yourself. What happened back then is happening today. It yeah. may not have happened the same way it did with Joseph, but it's happening today. We have family members that hate our guts. Why? Just for who we mm -hmm. are. We yeah. have some friends. Mm -hmm. They will mm -hmm. grin in your face and stab mm -hmm. you in your back. Why? Just because who we are. Mm -hmm. Yes. But yeah. what we have to do, we have to stay in the will of God. And when we see that going mm -hmm. on in family, friends, whatever, husband, wife, whatever, we put it in God's hand. Yes. For him mm -hmm. to direct it. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have in verse 15, and a certain man found him and behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him saying, what seekest thou? 
And he said, I seek my brethren. Tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. Mm -hmm. And the man said, they are departed hence, for I heard them say, let us go to Dothan. And Joseph went after his brethren and found them in Dothan. See, right away, you mentioned they were so many miles and he had traveled. Yeah. Right? He traveled mm -hmm. so many miles. He could have gotten discouraged. And give up. Yeah. yeah. But he was determined. He was going. To find them, yes. yeah. I imagine he had that joy. He was going to see his Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. A lot of times yeah. we don't know what lies like ahead of us. Move on, so let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we have uh, the brothers' conspiracy. So we're getting into that verse eighteen. We'll start. And when they say, when they saw him off afar, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. Wait, and they oh, said, right. yeah, I know one to me to move on. Wait a minute. When people sometimes, even like, uh, sometimes you can walk into your office. You yes. Come, you come in at all times. Mm -hmm. so people don't. Mm -mm. And this is this Bible yeah. is for us to today. To today. Today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they saw mm -hmm. him coming afar off. Yes. And can you imagine their mm -hmm. temper was rising? Here, here he comes. Mm -hmm. hey, what is he coming out here? We thought we were away from him. Mm -hmm. So let's just be uh, mm -hmm. cognizant at all times that everybody doesn't love us. And and it, as yeah. you said, Pastor, nowadays it, it happens to us because even going home to Jamaica, when when we go home to Jamaica, there is some of some of our family who don't want to see us. That's because what I'm talking they about. say, Oh, you you're coming from abroad and you think that you're higher than yeah. us mm -hmm. or you're better than us. When we are going to Long embrace high. them, we're yeah. longing to see them. We just mm -hmm. want to you hug them, hold them, and they mm -hmm. they give us the, the nastiest look ever. Yeah. But, you know, we just have to mm -hmm. learn that we should go with God in our heart and hug them That's anyway. Right. Just love them, love, love them yeah. anyway. That's right. Yes. But so you don't understand, yeah. you don't understand what That's we're talking about. And no, it's not, this is not something we move on so quickly because this is happening to us every day. Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Every day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's important, too, because with with joseph his heart was in the right place you know yes. sometimes people put with the brothers they feel a certain way so yes. they put how they feel on you and well, that's so that, why the bible says the devil might have been his own that's what she's saying when she's going to jamaica she's yeah. still loving her heart yeah she's going to see yeah. the family yeah. but they and look then, up here she comes yeah. who does she think she is she yeah. thinks she's bad enough that's not her mm -hmm. feeling mm -hmm. that's their feeling yep yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have, yeah. And that's why we have to constantly, constantly watch what Satan's dropping in. You have to constantly, the Bible says, guard your heart for the wells of life flow from you. have to constantly stand guard in your heart, watching as well as praying because it says the Satan is coming to look who he can devour, look who he can destroy. So you mm -hmm. have to constantly be watching that because you he could put a feeling in you and like we were stating earlier you may see your now that feeling is there you're watching for something to well, validate person, how you yeah. feel and it's not even true that person may not even feel that way mm -hmm. but because you have these certain things that's why we have to constantly lay before god you know we have to constantly be, be in his face and say lord cleanse me whatever i'm feeling whatever is there that's not of you cleanse me you yeah, know because that's Sometimes just a reverse of what he was going through. Yeah. That was a reverse of what he was going through. Yeah. This is my feeling. Because I'll tell you the truth. There has been people I had to learn the hard way. I'd see somebody and instantly took a dislike to them. Yes. But I learned mm -hmm. that it wasn't mm -hmm. them. It was what was going mm -hmm. on in me. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And Joseph, yeah. 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 he loved his siblings. But his siblings hated mm -hmm. him. They saw him coming from afar. Just like Reverend Hutchins said, when they hear she's coming into town. Mm -hmm. Here she comes. She thinks she's better yeah. than you. See, that's the difference. Mm -hmm. She's going with... I'm talking about the standpoint from the brothers. The brother's standpoint. The brother's oh. standpoint yeah. from them, where they got in the wrong, is mm -hmm. that they were having these feelings in their head, and Joseph may not necessarily felt that way. But from them, that's if they were actually in God and really kind of, which is what we have to do, looking from the example of them and how they got into jealousy to the point where they decided to take him off and do all this. You know, that's how Satan get a foothold sometimes, you know? So there's there's Joseph's side standpoint and then the brother standpoint of it. What is about what, where I'm what talking man, about? What man mm -hmm. means for your evil God will do what? Turn it Turn around, around for your good. Amen. 
Amen. Every time. Amen. We have to Every keep time. our heart, just like she said when she goes home. If she feed into some of the feelings that she gets, from them. She could be nasty. Love them anyways. Yeah, she could be nasty. Yeah. But what she went there is with yeah. love in her heart. So yeah. the more they look at yeah. her with, with that evil eye, she turns back with a good eye towards yes. them. Yes. Gotta love them anyways. Gotta love them anyway. Yeah. And that's, this is what Joseph did. And we will see he was rewarded for what he did. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And it's her own family too. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Our mm -hmm. own flesh and blood doing Okay. Amen. At verse 18, and when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. Mm -hmm. And they said one to another, behold, this dreamer cometh. Mm -hmm. Come now, therefore, and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say some evil beast hath devoured him. Right there. And we, we the will shout it. Wait a minute. We see the seed started where? Where did the deceit first start? When the deceit? Deceit. When did where did it first what, start? Once they saw him coming. No, no, no. Where, where did it first start? Where did the deceit come from? When they saw him come. Garden of Eden. Oh, yes. Okay. So you see how things pass on down, and the deceit is still here with us today. Yeah. They Remember. hate him so much that even when they saw him coming, they didn't even say, here comes my brother. Yes. They say, here comes the dreamer. Yes. They didn't yes. even own him because if they say, here comes my brother, that just saying that would, would constitute a certain amount of love. To and let me give you all another epiphany. But, if you happen to get a home, you happen to do halfway and not, don't get me, get it twisted. You work and suffered and sweat blood and tears for everything you had. Mm -hmm. Don't you know people envy you for what you've gotten? Yes. Yes. So this is what we're dealing with right here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Um, and then we're middle of 20. Um, some evil beast hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. Mm -hmm. Verse 21. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands and said, let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness and lay no hand upon him that he might rid him out of their hands to look at his father again. Okay, now let's stop right there. Uh, verse 23. Gonna, gonna hold it and right it here. came to... Where were they going to put yeah. him? In the pit. Now... Did they say they knew what was in this pit? They were going to kill him. And then no water or anything was in that pit. There could have been snakes down there. There could have been anything down there. But when you are God's own and when you are walking, doing what's right in God's sight, he's right. going to protect you regardless of where, what people do to you. Amen. They try Amen. to take you out. But when you are God's own, mm -hmm. Joseph could have been dead. But see, God had a plan for him way back when. Yes. Okay. And even though they were planning, everybody was planning, God delivered him with, with Reuben. Say so. I put Say Reuben, so. a ram in the bush to pull him out. You know, because oh, um, Reuben, said, could have, yes. Reuben could have sided with them. Yes. And, and go ahead and kill him. See another one could have sided as well. But mm -hmm. God is going to protect you. Yes. From yes, all evil. All Amen. Evil, if Amen. you keep your mind stayed on him. Yes. If you're doing the right thing. I don't care what people. All right. Say some people can fall out of a five-story building. But they live. Yes. Mm -hmm. What God means uh, for your good, man will try to make it evil. evil. But as we said, Satan can't do a thing unless he gets God's permission. Amen. So when you are covered and you put your hand in God's hand. Whatever people come to you with, however they come, and remember I tell you, you don't have to go into a closet to pray, um, a building, a physical closet. He gave you your closet. Yes. Regardless of what people do to you, you, you don't have to stop. You don't have to close your eyes. You just look at them and pray. God help. What did Jesus say on the cross? Mm -hmm. Father, forgive them for what? They know not what they do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the same thing that applied back then applies to us today. And this is what 
Yes, I'm stopping sometime, but we want people to understand that this is the same God that was back then in Genesis. At the beginning, we still were yeah. But it's the same God that's protecting us today. Okay. Amen. Amen. And we're at verse 23. And it came to pass when Joseph was come unto his brethren that they spirit Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him. And they took him and cast him into a pit and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread and they lifted up their eyes and looked and behold, a company of Ishmaelites came okay. there. Let's stop came right there. From Galilee. Okay. Let's stop there before we okay. go any further. So they stripped him out of his coat. Now, what does that tell you? Mm -hmm. They was jealous, jealous of that coat that the father mm -hmm. had given mm -hmm. the son. Mm -hmm. Yes. We don't yeah. know what it is that we have that others are not jealous of. You dress yeah. a certain way. They're going to talk about it. You mm -hmm. look a certain way. People are going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. all, what I tell yeah. everybody all the time, God doesn't look at the outside. He looks at the heart. Looks at the heart. And what he was looking at, he was mm -hmm. looking at Joseph's heart. Yes. He saw uh -huh. all of this evil going on, putting him down in a pit. Anything could have been there. People try to put mm -hmm. us in a pit. But you yes. see, God has us covered. Yes. Yeah. And yes. we're going to look up what he said and hold on to his righteous right hand. Yes. What does he say in Jeremiah 29? It's also over in Isaiah. For I know the thoughts that I have for you. Yes. He knows us. Yes. He knows us by name. He knows us one another. And he said, while we are yet praying, he's already answered. Yes. I could you. imagine it didn't say that Joseph was praying, but God said he was righteous. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can go on with that. And then uh, I'll get the name for we're the at 25, 25. So it says, uh, and they sat down and ate bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and behold, the company of Ishmaelites came from Galilee with their camels, bringing spicery and balm and mirth, going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother and conceal his blood? All right, right there. Hold it. And hold, let it, hold it. Wait a minute. Now, remember, I said, you said Reuben. What other brother? Judah. That's right. Judah. And we are see a long, um, a long line of Judah there, the lion of Judah. Mm -hmm. okay? So that's the other brother mm -hmm. that stepped in. And as before we finish this, we'll see more. Praise God. Amen. Okay, Amen. I just want to bring Judah out there. Okay. Yes. Um. 27, come let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him for he is our brother and our flesh and his brethren were content. Content. Okay. Now the thing is they sold him. They didn't know what those Ishmaelites was going to do to him. Mm -mm. No. But just since the blood wasn't on I, their hand. Yes. Okay. Okay. We got rid of him. We don't have mm -hmm. to hear those stories. We're sitting around the fire and drinking wine and eating bread. We don't have to hear all of this story about I'm my mine's going to buy down to yours or whatever. We don't have no longer have to hear this dreamer. But just keep in mind, he was seventeen. Okay, leave it that. Yeah, and I love it too because God knew exactly. What God already has a plan. The ram in the bush was the Ishmaelites carrying him on to what and Amen. all this set him. Remember, remember that. Yeah, that his dream, they were saying that his dreams uh, in 20 it said, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. Exactly. And look, and look at God. He sent them Ishmaelites right on in. Yeah. Look at God work because the spot where Joseph found them, that's not where they were supposed to be. That's right. not where they were supposed exactly. to be. He went where they were supposed to be, and they moved and moved to the oh. spot where oh. the, the, mm -hmm. the God put them in the spot where he knew the Ishmaelites were going to pass by. Oh. He oh. knew oh. the world yeah. was going to be there. Oh. He knew how yeah. to deliver Joseph. So he gotta, his work, as God, as, as Pastor said, he know your beginning and your end. He know right, right where to put you so that yeah. he can prosper you. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Verse 27. Come, let us sell him to the Ishmaelites and let not our hand be upon him. And he is our brother and our flesh and his and his brethren were content. 
Then in 28, we're going into Joseph sold to Ishmaelites. Um, in 28, then there passed by Midianites, merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver. And they brought Joseph into Egypt. All right, and let's Reuben call it one second, one second. And um, whenever you get a minute, I want you to go back, not now, and um, refresh your mind who the Midianites were, okay? This is something we don't look over when we're studying. We go back and refresh our minds who they really were, Midianites. Okay, Amen. because I remember I tell you Moses was he went to where after he killed that guy? Where did he go? To Midian. Midian, worked, yes. That's right. And he worked in the de desert there for what 40 years? Mm -hmm. So when we if we study the Bible, we're gonna see where it uh, it all comes together and all of this why I said don't yeah. ever pass up looking at the different things that they say, just like I said, with the Midianites and see what, what happened, uh, where was Joseph? And like you said, the mileage that it took for one to get to the other. All of that has significance whenever we're studying the Bible. Mm -hmm. We can't just keep reading. We can read, but we're not getting too much from it until we break that bad boy down. That's right. Okay, break mm -hmm. it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, we're at verse 29 and Reuben returned unto the pit and behold, Joseph was not in the pit and he, he rent his clothes and he returned unto his brethren and said, the child is not and I, whither shall I go? Hold it right there, right there. Reuben mm -hmm. tore his clothes. Rent means tear into uh, mm -hmm. Reuben tore his clothes. Now he saved him initially. Let's not kill him. Let's put him in the pit. Mm -hmm. But Reuben, I guess it was on, this is me, probably on his conscience, we put my baby brother in a pit. Let me go back and get him out. So he, when he went back there to take him out, he wasn't there, mm -hmm. yeah. so which caused him to be very upset. So he mm -hmm. tore his clothes. In other words, now where is he? And we'll, we'll yeah. see the significance of that as we move on in this story. Praise God. Because they wanted to kill him, but Reuben, Reuben wanted to hold him off, didn't want to kill him, put him in a pit so that he can return him to their father, is what yes. he said um, up there. So when he came, he's gone. So they did all this while he's gone. Now he's coming back thinking he's about to help save him, Take return him, him to the father. He's not there, you sure. know, so he's angry about that whole situation. Yeah. Um, Jacob is deceived. We're going into that thought. 31. And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of goats and dipped the coat in the blood. And they sent the coat of many colors and they brought it to their father and said, this have we found. Know now whether it be thy son's coat or no. 33. All right, saying right there, they were deceiving the father and we find so much deceit yeah. in the Bible. Yeah. But yeah. where we found that deceit, God turns around and works it out for good. Amen. But it said, be not deceived, God is not mocked. Yeah. Although we think we are getting away with something, God sees everything that we are doing. He knows we're going to do it before we do it. Amen. But we think that we're so shallow sometimes when it comes to God that he can't see certain things. You know, <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it my way. Mm -hmm. But what we should be doing is God's way. It's God's way. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, verse 33 of 37. And he knew it and said, it is my son's coat. An evil beast have devoured him. Joseph is without doubt rent in pieces. Oh. Okay. Yeah. 34. And Jacob rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his loins and mourn for his son many days. Oh. In 35, and all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him. Mm. But he refused to be comforted. And he said, for I will go down into the grave unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him. Now you see what they did to him? How mm -hmm. they just deceived him. This man was old and he was just heartbroken. Yeah. I've lost a son. Mm -hmm. You don't know what it is to lose a child. Mm -hmm. Although mine was a baby, yeah. but once you carry that child for nine months, it's still a part of you. 
Yes. So whenever you lose yes. a child, yeah. that's devastating. Yeah. You can imagine this man now, yeah. the coat of many colors that he, he had given to his son. At 17. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now it comes back all bloody. These mm -hmm. guys were so deceitful that they killed a goat. This is a lamb, mm -hmm. a goat. They killed this goat and put that blood on that coat just to deceive the father. Mm -hmm. Remember I tell you, don't believe everything you see? Yeah. And even when they see the father hurting and, and suffering yes. like that, yes. they still continued with the deceit for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were right there with him while he's crying and mourning and stuff like that. Thank you for mm -hmm. to to his bed. Yes. We see that today, you know. We see that today. And um, all murder, murdering people will kill folks and be around the whole family, you know, be done, snatch somebody from the house and be around the whole family, like, whoa, 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 consoling them all to hide hide the damage that they've done, you know? It's they say sad. Most often the murderer will return to the scene of the crime. The scene of the crime, mm -hmm. yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Why? Because yes. they're cold hearted. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And even in the workplace, the one that goes to your boss yes. and talk about your boss and set up your boss, set yes. your boss up against you, they're the ones mm -hmm. that are gonna come to you and say, Oh girl, he ain't supposed yeah. to do that. They be so nice. Anyone coming right. to come to you to 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 when you when you have gotten in trouble and is there crying, no, oh that is so wrong of him, but they're the ones that did it. Yes. It happens in ministry too, you know. We can like it to me. It happens in ministry too. You know, people will be backbiting, talking about people, going back and forth, back yes. and forth, and be, hey girl, best friends. You would think uh -huh. that they're like Joseph, you would think that they mean well because his heart is pure, you know. So he's sitting here thinking his brothers mean him well, not knowing behind the back, they plotting to kill him and take him out, you That's know. Right. It's sad. It's really sad. You'll see folks, the pastor do a lot of stuff. You'll see them go back and forth about the pastor because they don't like something. They get into the mm -hmm. feelings and all that. We've seen a lot of that happen in ministry. You know, Seven. that's why that's it's, it's, right. no true words have ever been spoken. Nothing new up under the sun. Amen. Nothing new, Amen. You know? Yeah. Um, we have, now we're moving into Joseph's soul to Potiphar. And that's verse 36. And the Midianites sold him into Egypt unto Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's and captain of the guard. Mm -hmm. He was a so captain. Midianites, the the Midianites, those are yeah. the sent under of Keturah and Abram, right? Midian. Um, the descendants of oh. Abraham and oh. Keturah. Midianites, no. Look it up. No. So you have he didn't just get sold into slavery. He got sold in and God placed him where he needed him to be. In and doesn't God house. do the same thing with us today? Yes, he does. Now, the only yep. way to get kicked out of that spot, would I say our yeah. will? Mm -hmm. Our will? Mm -hmm. We try to do our will. Amen. Right? Yeah. Did you look that up? In the Bible, the, the son of the commentary, the, the commentary said that the, uh, Midian, I think one of the sons of Couture was named Midian, was Midian, yeah. Okay, all right, my mistake, I make mistakes too, but okay, good, we'll go further into it. Okay, all right, so now we're getting into Judah's descendants in uh, chapter 38. Yeah. And it came to pass at that time that Judah went down from his brethren and turned in to a certain Adulamite, whose name was Hira. And Judah saw there, there a daughter of a certain Canaanite, whose name was Shuha. And he took her and went in unto her. And she conceived and bare a son, and he called his name Ur. And she conceived again and bare a son, and she called his name Onan. And she yet again conceived and bare a son and called his name Shelah. And he was a shiv shiziv when she bare him. Uh, we're going into Tamar, wife of Ur, in verse six. And Judah took a wife for Ur, his firstborn, whose name was Tamar. And Ur, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord slew him. Hmm. 
8. And Judah said unto Onan, go in unto thy brother's wife and marry her and raise up seed to thy brother. And Onan knew that the seed should not be his. And it came to pass when he went unto his brother's wife that he spilled it on the ground, lest that he should give seed to his brother. Hmm. So now he's gone unto this woman. He, instead of impregnating her, he puts it on the, on the flow so he don't have to impregnate right. her. He masturbated on the ground so he wouldn't have mm -hmm. to have to her. Mm -hmm. Let's show you how God handles things when he wants things done. Go ahead. Yeah. In verse 10, and the thing which he did displeased the Lord, wherefore he slew him also. Then said Judah to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, remain a widow at thy father's house till Salah, my son, be grown. For he said, lest peradventure he die also, as his brethren did. And Tamar went and dwelt in her father's house. And in process of time, the daughter of Shuda, Shua, Judah's wife, died. And Judah was comforted and went up unto his sheep, uh, sheep shears to Timnah. And he and his friend Hira and Adulamite. And then uh, we're getting into Judah deceived by Tamar, verse 13. And it was told Tamar, saying, Behold, thy father in law goeth up to Timnah to shear his sheep. And she put her widow's garments off from her and covered her with the veil and wrapped herself and sat in an open place, which is by the way to Timnah. For she saw that Salah was grown and she and was not where, given unto him. The 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 that's where the prostitutes would sit there. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what she did, she got in her widow's clothes and she's mm -hmm. pretending she's wrapped up in her veil. So, and pretending, yeah. so she yeah. went up there and when she went up there, you know, some men, they are very promiscuous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And before she would lay with him, she wanted the ring, the signature ring. She wanted something that would identify mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, two, it says she's doing this at the end because um, Salah had grew up and he didn't give them to her. He, he hadn't her married her. Salah, where it says right here, he told her to go to her father's house. And when Salah gets older in verse 11, he says, and when, when my son be grown, then you can marry him. And now it says right here in verse 14, it says that Salah was grown and she was not given unto him to wife. Mm -hmm. So I guess yeah. she was going to make him go for it. Yeah. Uh, in verse 15. She wanted a child. Her, so she's going to get a child. Yeah. 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 Okay. When Judas, when Judas saw her, thought her to be an harlot because she had covered her face. And he turned unto her by the way and said, go to, I pray thee, let me come in unto thee. For he words, knew not that she uh, was a daughter-in-law. She was a harlot. And she so said, said, let me have sex with you. I want to have sex with you. Mm -hmm. And see, it's nothing we could, we, mm -hmm. look, this, is, this is real life. We don't have to yeah. Now. It's in the Bible. She was dressed mm -hmm. up where he couldn't see her face. Same way whenever, mm -hmm. uh, what's his name, Jacob, 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 when he went into Leah, he didn't see her face. Oh, okay. Okay. Jesus. So she had on her veil. He couldn't see her face. Mm -hmm. I want to lay with you. In other words, I want to have sex with you. Mm -hmm. She knew exactly who he was. Okay. She knew what, yeah. I'm going to get this son. If I didn't have it by your son, mm -hmm. I'm going to have it by you. Mm -hmm. see, we, as I said, there's another case of deceit. Deceit, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, all, mm -hmm. that, all that is, all that is ain't go. Okay. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, go ahead. Um, and then it says in the uh, latter part of 16, and she said, what will thou give me that thou mayst come in unto me? And he said, I will send thee a kid from the flock. And she said, Wilt thou give me a pledge thou till thou send it? And he said, What pledge shall I give thee? And she said, Thy signet and thy bracelets and thy staff that is thine hand. And right, he gave it to right her. here. We know what the signet is. Back mm -hmm. then they used to put uh, it's like a curtain. Signature. Yeah. And wax. And that's how they 
identify the land. She mm -hmm. was going to have everything that was concrete that she could identify him with. Okay. <laughs> yes. He's not, not going to give her a $5 bill to run. <laughs> I want your ID, your social Come security card, your ADR. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. You laughing yes. about it, but it's nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. They did every yeah. type of uh, trickery back in the in the day, they did mm -hmm. what they could to get over. What people are doing it today. Yeah, yeah. How many women yeah. have had babies by these men and wasn't theirs? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. They were there, so they couldn't mm -hmm. complain. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she says, uh, in seventeen, and he said, "I will send." Oh, where were we at? Okay, in nineteen. Um. It says in 18, I'll read 18 again, the latter part. And he said, what pledge shall I give thee? And she said, thy signet, thy bracelets, and thy staff in thine hand. And he gave it her and came in unto her, and she conceived by him. 19, and she arose and went away and laid her by her veil from her and put on the garments of her widowhood. And Judas sent the kid by the hand of his friend, the Adolmite to receive his pledge from the woman's hand, but he found her not. Then he asked the men of that place saying, what is the harlot that was openly by the wayside? And they said, there was no harlot in this place. And he returned to Judah and said, I cannot find her. And also the men of the place said that there was no harlot in this place. And Judah said, let her take it to her, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this kid and thou hast not found her. And it came to pass about three months after that it was told Judah, saying, Tamar, thy daughter-in-law, hath played the harlot. And also, behold, she is with child by a whoredom. And Judah said, bring her forth and let her be burnt. So right, he's right ready there. to kill her. Yes, go ahead. He's ready to kill her. Mm. Mm -hmm. I realize yeah. that. That he's, he's the one that did it. Him. He's going to get the shock mm -hmm. of his life. Mm -hmm. Whenever she started mm -hmm. putting what you said, the social security card <laughs> <laughs> she got all the proof that she needs. Mm -hmm. All her receipts. Look, all of them. She started pulling it out. I can imagine this is me. It's about to drop right over. <laughs> look, she's smart. Oh, yes, she was. Yeah. Had she not had all of that, he, was, he would have yeah. said she was just a harlot. That wasn't his yeah. baby. He didn't sleep with her. Right. But yeah. he had proof. That he was that, no that, better than any other yes. man that walked the street. And out. the fact that he didn't mm -hmm. find the harlot and he don't know who it is. <laughs> yeah. You pull out her ID from him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Know that, yeah. Uh, 25. When she was brought forth, he sent to her father in law, saying, By the by the man whose these are, am I with child? And she said, Discern. I pray thee, whose are these? The signet and bracelet and staff. And staff. Well, right there. That's when his mouth was dropped wide yeah. open. <laughs> Social right security there. number, oh, your driver's <laughs> license. <laughs> your AARP card. And your she, so card. Yeah. <laughs> she had it all laid out. She oh, said, that. take this, take that. <laughs> <laughs> there are some mm. wise women out here. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. In 26, and Judah acknowledged them and said, she hath been more righteous than I, because that I gave her not to Salah, my son, and and he knew her again no more. All right. He was just, he laid with her that one time. Mm -hmm. And had she not had all the proof. She would be burned. Him, yes. Mm -hmm. killed her. Yes. He would have killed her. And it, but how can they and kill her? Her when he had yeah. had laid with her, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. got her pregnant. And it's sad too because he didn't keep his promise to her, but mm -hmm. he was ready to keep his promise to the harlot. Yes. 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 yes, 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 and he didn't keep his promise to her. So now you're like, oh well, she's more righteous than I because I didn't give her my son. Yeah. But then it says he doesn't slept with her anymore, you know. But now you got this child. You know, by by your daughter in law. That's right. You know, because you right. you didn't honor your word. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Mm. God has she a way of working everything out. 
you know, yeah. and the uh, only thing I can tell you, that child, as I tell anybody who has an illegitimate child today, there are mm -hmm. no mistakes. 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 No. There, no. Is, there are no Not one. mistakes. Not mm -hmm. one. Because every time a child is born, God has put his stamp on them. That's yes. right. Regardless yes. of how that child was conceived. Yes. God is going yes. to put his stamp on it. If not, it wouldn't be you. Yeah. So Amen. this child that she got pregnant by, it was ordained by God. By God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. yes. Amen. Just like Lot and his daughters, too. Come right? on now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or Evan yeah. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And then we have, we're moving on to the birth of Zerah and uh, Perez uh, in 27. And it came to pass in the time of her travail that behold, twins were in her womb. And it came to pass when she travailed that the one put out his hand and the midwife took and bound upon his hand a scarlet thread saying, this came out first. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass as he drew back his hand that behold, his brother came out. Mm -hmm. And she said, he has thou broken forth. This breach be upon thee. Therefore, his name was called Perez mm -hmm. or Ferris. And afterward came out his brother that had the scarlet thread upon his hand, and his name was called Zarha. All right. Was that the second set of twins that we've seen? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Esau. And identify those twins, the midwife, before the kid was really born. Mm -hmm. She tied the scarlet mm -hmm. around the one that stuck its hand out first. Okay. Oh, wow. So we have to dig further, see if there's any uh, meaning to that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It says right here, um, as it turned out, his brother in the commentary, as mm -hmm. it turned out, his brotherly actually came out first, earning himself not only the rights of firstborn, but also named Perez, meaning bursting forth or breach. His brother born belatedly with the scarlet thread still tied to his hand, received the name Zara, meaning downing or shining. Mm -hmm. And I thought this part was interesting. Perez would later be mentioned as an ancestor of both David. And Jesus. All right. So no mistake. Uh, okay, now let's okay. Who was the father? Who was the father of these twins? Judah. Judah. And where which line did Jesus come Judah. from? Judah. 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 So Judah. Judah. These kids would come from the line of Jesus. No, Judah. Yes. Amen. 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 No mistake. Amen. Amen. Well, we're at 6.54 okay. at oh, time. All right. So time time, time flies when we're having fun. <laughs> yes. But I just want to take yeah. the time to say right here, we're um, contemplating going into, on Sunday mornings, we're going to have the same, we're going to keep going with our Bible study. That's our Sunday school. So there won't be any lag behind. And I've spoken with Brother Chris, and he said that he would do the same thing that we're doing now. The only thing, <laughs> ladies, we have to get up at 9 30 in the morning. Mm -mm. And I expect Amen. some of our, <laughs> expect some of our children, want our children to come. We can make room for them. But okay. there's okay. no time with God. We are Amen. doing what the Great Commission has told us to do taking the word yeah. into all nations. So Amen. we want to move up with us. We're going to have Sunday mm -hmm. school. 9 30 on Sunday mornings. I don't know if we get started this Sunday or not, but I would just say be prayerful that we can continue wherever we stop off now. Sunday morning, we will pick up and we will have people with us that will also join us Wednesday night. Amen. So we can Amen. get across the Red Sea. I'm eager to cross the Red Sea. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yes, any, any final words, Pastor? No, that's it. Just be any arrest, final word, Reverend? Yes. Reverend Thompson, Amen. any final word? God will work it out for you good every time. Every, every time, time, every time. Again, this this was a wonderful um study, and I know that uh everyone will get a whole lot out of this. Um quick reminder. Join us again next week, same time, same place, on the same venue, Wednesday night, um, uh, on uh, Wednesday night for our Bible study live on Facebook and YouTube. 
We have prior meetings on online prior meetings on Tuesday nights from 7:30 to 8:30, and our um our our call in our call in number is uh 601. Um, just a second, let me get that out. Six zero five. Three one three. Five eight three one three. Six zero five three one three five eight three three. Access code three seven nine zero eight eight. And um, again, as you see, Pastor says uh, we'll be having Sunday school on this venue. Join us at nine thirty uh, Sunday mornings. Um, at 9.30, and right after that, we're going to have our uh, 10.30 uh, Sunday morning service. Um, donations can be made on ministriesofhopechristianchurch.com by PayPal or by Square. So you can go to ministriesofhopechristianchurch.com. Also, our YouTube uh, um, link is Ministries of Hope Christian Church um, YouTube. Put that in your browser, and you can pull us up on YouTube. Every one of the um, sir, the the Bible studies from Genesis chapter one all the way up to now is there, and. Um, just join us, pray with us. Um, let us let us just go out and defeat Satan together. Amen. Amen. Let us go out in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord God, for tonight. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your goodness. Let it resonate in our hearts, Lord God, and let it take root and grow forth there, Father God. Thank you for everything that has been said and done. Let it go forth in your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye.